Hello, designers. Matthew here. So what are we up to next? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build our first BJ deck. Now, I should preempt this with uh, the fact that this is, uh, while it is going to be tempting to feel like this particular kind of approach is going to scale forever, it won't. Sorry, you know, <laughs> sorry to ruin uh, kind of like our hopes and dreams, but this is kind of a, an exercise in some training wheels to help us learn about uh, a few different kinds of things that we might think about when we're building our networks. And now we're, we're building a kind of VJ setup. Uh, and the reason that we're not going to kind of dig into the right way, you know, the quote unquote right way to tackle something like this from the get go is that, you know, what you end up building largely depends on what it is that you want your tool to do. And, you know, sometimes building something that is a little bit more limited and in its initial scope can help you um, make some design choices that are more valuable from the get-go, right? So sometimes those limitations are actually much more valuable uh, than we give them credit for. Which is to say that, you know, we're going to learn this um, kind of in a way that helps us kind of navigate a few pieces of the puzzle, but doesn't necessarily um, solve all of the problems that we might have. And that's, that's okay. That's totally all right. We're going to just kind of roll with that for right now. Uh, and we're going to trust that it's going to be all right. So what are we going to make? What we're going to make is something that looks a little something like this. So here we can see uh, what our output is or what our intended output is, right? We can see what's in our A deck, what's in our B deck. We can see that we've got a nice little slider here. We've got a transport system that lets us uh, kind of blend these two things together, being only one channel or the other, right? So we can kind of like live in one of these. We've also got some buttons that will do nice crossfades for us between these two things. We can, in fact, even click on the decks themselves to be able to get us into one of those um, decks and to like switch into it. We also will have a nice kind of nice easy way to kind of flip into the other deck, right? So this is our output and I want to swap to another visualization, swap to another visualization. Right, this is kind of a your VJ deck on training wheels. And the reason I say it's on training wheels is that there are a few things that we're going to do in here that aren't going to be, they aren't how I would build a deck now. And that's okay. But it's going to be a place for us to start because if we don't start somewhere, um, it's going to be really hard. It'll be just too abstract for us to really dig into. Now, I should also mention that you have a little bit of homework before we start this particular exercise. And the homework that I have for you is to go through and make a few of these visualizations to get started, right? That's uh, your, the first thing that you're going to do is to uh, sort out all of that. What I want you to do for that is I want you to practice your instancing. So I've already done uh, some of this already, so I'm just going to go ahead uh, I'm going to add a base. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to call this Simple VJ. And we're going to work in here. Uh, and we're going to move these around in a little bit. Um, but what I've already done is I've already made all the vis visualizations that I want to experiment with. Now, I would encourage you to, you know, make a few, make at least three. You could make six if you want. The important thing here is that you need to build these so that they all live inside bases. And the only thing that's different about them in terms of their naming schema is their digits. So in my case, base one, two, three, all the way down to six. Inside of each one of these is a whole dedicated network Right? This is something that you get to build out. Build out whatever you would like. Experiment. Play. If you'd like, you can download the project file for this, and you can just borrow the, piece, the, um, the pieces that are already done. That's just fine. I won't tell anyone. The important piece of this is that it will be very important. Very important. I cannot stress enough how important it is that null final, that you have a null at the end of your whole chain, and that that null has the name null underscore final. It's important that in every single one of these, there is a null 
at the end of your chain of operators, that's name is null final. I know I'm saying that a lot. It's so painful for me to repeat this many times, but it is very important that null final is the last thing in your chain, right? And we'll see why that's important in a second. Um, trust me. So you're going to build out a bunch of these, or you're going to borrow things that have already been made. Either way, doesn't matter to me. I ain't going to tell anybody. Uh, let's, for right now, we're just going to kind of leave these here inside of our network. I'm going to park them over here on the left-hand side. We're going to move them in just one second. Um, so just hold on to your horses there.